Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. In our last video, we have discussed the introduction and general characters of phylum Cilantata. Today, we shall see the classification of phylum Cilantata. Phylum Cilantata includes different members. These are the simplest metazoans having division of labor. In them, polymorphism is found, means they are found in two different forms, one called polyp, another medusa. Remember phylum cylindrata includes hydra and jellyfish like individuals. They have tentacles in their body, some with umbrella shaped body, some with tubular body, some appear like flowers. Phylum cylindrata has been classified into three different classes on the basis of body forms. These classes are called Hydrozoa, Siphozoa and Anthozoa. Class Hydrozoa The term comes from Greek language in which Hydra means water, Zoon means animal. So these are with tubular body normally and they are water forms. Remember, all cylindrates are aquatic. What may be the peculiar feature of Hydrozoa? Here we see the members are freshwater or marine. Both the types of individuals are found. They may be solitary or colonial. These are found in polyp form or medusa form. Polyp tubular body, medusa umbrella cell body. Cylentron is a single cavity and not divided by septa. Here in this diagram, we can see the inside of the body in hydra. The body bears a central cavity called cylentron and this cavity is a single cavity not divided into different chambers. So this is one important feature of hydrozoans that cylentron is a single cavity. Mesoglia is non-cellular. In diploblastic organisms, outer ectoderm, inner endoderm, both attach with each other by a non-cellular layer called mesoglia. Here mesoglia also non-cellular. Examples are Hydra, Obelia, Tubipora. One another class, class Siphozoa. The term comes from Greek language in which Saifa means cup. And when we see the examples of this group, these are with cup shaped or umbrella shaped body. So these are medusoid forms. This is the image of jellyfish and this another very similar to the jellyfish. Siphozoa includes the members which are exclusively marine. Exclusively marine means all marine only, found in sea only. So no member of this group is freshwater. And these are all solitary, living singly. They are generally found in medusa form, cup shaped body, umbrella shaped body. Polyp stage is reduced or absent. Cylentron may or may not be divided by septa. In previous group, we have seen as in hydra, cylentron not divided. Here, may or may not be divided. Mesoglia is usually cellular. Mesoglia may contain some special cells. Examples are Aurelia. Pelagia, Pericolpa, this one Aurelia, this one Pelagia. One another class in phylum Cylindrata is Anthozoa. 
The term comes from Greek language in which anthos means flower. So these appear like flowers, flower forms. In this group also, members are exclusively marine, solitary or colonial. Some members living singly, some in group. Here, corals, colonial individuals. These are found in polyp forms. Medusae stage is absent. Medusae umbrella shaped individuals not found in this group. Cylenteron is divided into several chambers by septa. Cylenteron with different partition walls. Mesoclea is always cellular. And the examples include Metridium, which we call C. anemone, this one. Gorgonia, called C. fan, Tubipora, Penalula, and Coralium, which is called Corals, this one. Coral. Thus, in Phylum Cylindrata, we see three different groups Hydrozoa, Siphozoa, and Anthozoa. When we compare these three different groups or classes, they differ in different points with different features. We can compare these three different classes in this way and this will be easy to remember. So just study them in comparative way. Remember, from the point of habitat, Hydrozoans may be freshwater or marine, but Siphozoa all marine, Anthozoa all marine. From the point of habit, Hydrozoa members are solitary or colonial, in Siphozoa all solitary, in Anthozoa solitary or colonial. Again, about body forms, Hydrozoa includes both the types of individuals polyps and medusae. In Siphozoa, usually medusa. In Anthozoa, only polyps. Cylenteron, the inner body cavity, not divided into chambers in hydrozoans. May or may not be divided by septa in Siphozoa and always divided into several chambers in Anthozoa. Mesoglia is non-cellular in hydrozoa. Usually cellular, Siphozoa, always cellular, Anthozoa. Examples, Hydra and Ovelia are the members of Hydrozoa, while Siphozoa includes jellyfish and Anthozoa includes sea animal, corals. This is all about the classification of phylum cylindrata. In our next video, we shall discuss another phylum. Phylum Platyhelminthus. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. See you in the next one. Thank you.